from New York City, Comedy Central presents Sebastian Maniscalco. Come to work, you get that type of response. That's good. That's good. I need it. I had a had a rough day. <sighs> Went to the grocery store. Always a problem at the grocery store. Is it hard to pay? Always something going on in my line, right? Always in the back. I'm like, what are they? Who's still paying in check? <laughs> You'll see it. It will come out of a bag in slow motion. Then the whole line sees it. Because it's just not the checkbook. Things go with the checkbook, right? Glasses always come on. Gotta find the check, hold on. Always asking, who do I write the check to? John's Market, it's on the guy's apron, it's on the bags. There's a lot of hints here. I got no patience for people. Guy had four items in front of me. I'm like, four items, how are we gonna screw this up? They scan it, boop, 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 boop. Then he pulled this one. And a pack of cigarettes, please. <laughs> now we gotta go to the cage. <laughs> That's what we're doing, we're doing errands, right? That's all we do. Went to Ross for less. Anybody been to this nightmare? <laughs> I walked into Ross, I thought I walked into downtown Beirut. <laughs> I thought a bomb went off at this store. Everything's on the floor. <laughs> How are they shopping over there? What, are they pulling stuff off the shelf? This is not my size. <laughs> I went looking for jeans. I heard they had cheap jeans over there, right? So I'm in the store shopping. <laughs> I found a pair in housewares. Stamped irregular. Anybody looking at irregular clothes? You're not getting a deal. You see irregular, you gotta lay them out. You gotta find out what the hell happened. <laughs> Why are these a dollar? Because <laughs> originally $175, <laughs> now slashed to a dollar. <laughs> and if you're like me, you're looking at the pants, you're like, I, I can't find the mistake here. I think they made the mistake. I think I found a treasure. <laughs> Till you get to the fitting room. I went to go try them on. I went to go get the zipper, the button, all this stuff wasn't even here. <laughs> I found that right here on the calf. All the underwear, it's all boxed. The box has been ripped open so many times. They gotta duct tape them shut. You don't even know what you're buying. I took a gamble on some CK boxer briefs. 
for 39 cents. <laughs> I brought them home, I cut the box open. It's a set of forks. <laughs> I just got a problem. Impatient people. Airports, enough. What is going on at the airport? Could we put a dress code at the airport? It looks like a slumber party. Oh, Do people care what they look like anymore? They just come out now as is. They must roll out of bed. And then they're at United. What the? I'm not. I'm not into this. I'm not into casual. I like the 50s, 60s, people dressed up, right? I'm not into this whole casual. You meet these people, I'm comfortable. I don't care what people think of me, as long as I'm comfortable. Yeah? I'm uncomfortable that you're comfortable. <laughs> Shower. I'm not into this. It's got to stop. When you go to the airport, when you see the world, the world sees you. <laughs> and now what we do, we sit down in the plane. And now we look to see what catastrophe <laughs> that's going to be sitting next to us for five hours. <laughs> right? I know. And it's never this. It's never these beautiful ladies. I could tell my guy. I could sense it, right? Like he gets on the plane, we make eye contact, like, oh, this is him. Everybody's got everything, everybody's got their Starbucks on it. I had to stop at the Starbucks before I got on. I got behind the couple that can't keep their hands off each other. You ever get behind this couple? It's disgusting. She's holding on to him from behind. <laughs> like he's gonna take off. It's Starbucks, he ain't going anywhere. She was dating some softy, guy had flip flops on. What's this, flip flop? You seen some of these guys' feet? Men's feet are disgusting. <laughs> he had the finger foot. What is this? You ever seen it? <laughs> Toes so long, he's got knuckles on him. <laughs> like he could pick up an orange and then throw it at you. <laughs> you have a hand on your foot. Take care of your feet. Just because you're in the shower and they're getting wet, then when they're getting, right? This concrete with this ash look here on the heel. You wanna take a pumice stone to that? File, you got a cinder block on your foot. Sock it. And he turned to his lady, he's like, honey, do you want to share a lemon loaf? <laughs> what the hell did you just say? <laughs> did lemon loaf just come out of your mouth? <laughs> How do you feel like a man in order a lemon loaf? <laughs> I would never get that, even if I wanted one. 
I'd point to it. Get one of these. Another woman had a dog at the airport, dressed up. What's this? What's with the dogs? I got a dog. It's my dog. Why don't we do dog things? Go to the park, you can give it a frisbee. You know? Once in a while, lean down. Hey, how you doing? You all right? Good? All right, get the hell out of here. I'm not dressing it up. What's up? Why's the dog got socks on? Socks, had a sweater, little hat, little cell phone around his neck. Stop trying to humanize the animal. It's a dog, let it be a dog. In Los Angeles this past year, they had for Christmas time, a Santa Claus for your dog. 150 dogs wrapped around the mall to see doggy Santa. Two kids to see the normal Santa. 150 dogs. Huh? And you got the idiot owner sitting there in line. Yeah, Cooper. Yeah, you're gonna see Santa today. They put the dog on Santa's lap. And from the line, they're like, go ahead, Cooper. Go ahead. Tell Santa what you want. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, he just wants to lick his balls. but he can't because he's got a sweater on. What's wrong with people? Oh, but it's good, you know? We do all this stuff during the day and we come to nighttime. We start coming to events like this, start bringing our lady, dating, it's fun, right? First date, that's the big one. What do we normally do, guys? Dinner. Sushi. Yeah, last week, first date. I don't know what sushi costs. I don't know how much it is, right? Chicken, salad, steak, I know what that goes for. A dynamite roll? I have no idea what the hell that is. Because what we're doing, ladies, on the date is we're trying to figure out how much the bill is in our head before it comes to the table. It's a little game we play up here, right? You don't know what's happening. So I'm guesstimating this is about a $120 meal. The bill comes, right? And like a silence comes over the table, right? So the bill comes, I do the quick peek. Yeah. It's what we do on the first date. We don't look at it like it's a life insurance policy. Right? We act like it didn't even come to the table. So I saw the total, $256. I closed it and then I started sweating. <laughs> On the inside of my body. <laughs> because on the first date, you can't let on that that total might bother you. You have to take that poker face. <laughs> but if you're married and you get a bill like that, <laughs> you'll flip it over. Can you believe this crap? Hundred and fit. What the hell did you eat? <laughs> you better take a good look at this place. We're not coming back here again. 
A lot of you guys tonight think this is your only stop. <laughs> but it's the women, they always want different atmosphere. They're in the atmosphere. All right, they'll leave here tonight. You think you're going home. You're gonna walk out that exit. She's gonna turn, you're like, where are we going now? <laughs> we just did it. The Comedy Central, the fun, what the? So she wants to dance now, now dancing. Now she's in her 20s, I'm in my 30s. Women in their 20s dance a lot different than men in their 30s. All right, there's a lot of bending. <laughs> but it's that first date, right, guys? We could do anything on the first date. She's like, do you dance? <laughs> of course I dance, let's do this, right? <laughs> so she get out to the dance floor. Right away, she starts pulling this move. <laughs> and she pulled a head whip. I'm like, wow, I like this. I want to participate. But I don't know if I could get down that far. But I'm already out there, so I'm like, all right, let's go, let's, let's do this. And my legs start burning. And all of a sudden, something popped. I don't know what happened, a ligament, a muscle, something fell out. And I couldn't get back up. And then we go, you know, we do start doing stuff, right? Going on vacations together, go to Vegas. Some have, if you think you're in a great relationship, go to Vegas, test it out in that town. <laughs> Something about Vegas brings out the worst in people. Went to Vegas, she was arguing with me right from the get-go. I went to go grab her hand in the casino, I gave her a little static electricity, she's like. <laughs> Pick your feet up. <laughs> what do you want me to do, float? <laughs> We went to the lounge, right? I just grazed her butt, you know, a little <laughs> we're dating type of thing. And again, <laughs> don't touch my ass when we're out in public. You were <laughs> my nuts the first night we met. Nuts, you know that? <laughs> but that's what happens, right? Text messaging starts. Right? I had no idea I had text messaging. <laughs> Get in a fight with your girl, you'll find out what text messaging is all about. <laughs> we had an argument, I left, a little envelope came up on my screen. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? It was a message from her, I read it, it's like, why have you changed? <laughs> and I didn't know there was rules to text messaging. I called her back. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, what the hell are you doing? We're not ready for this, hang up and text me back. I'm not good, I'm not good with the thumb. There's a thing on here that will help you though. It's called T9 word, all right? This will actually guess what you're trying to say. Don't use this drunk. Don't come home horny, drunk. You wanna text your girl a sexy message? Look what you're typing before you send it. 
I didn't look, I just sent it off. She called me right back, she's like, uh, what do you mean you wanna kick my puppy? <laughs> Good night, my name is Sebastian, you guys are gonna go crowd. Let's go.